Hello guys, welcome to Medicaid. In this video, we are going to be learning about the second important phase that is fertilization. Okay, let us ask the golden questions again. What is fertilization? When does fertilization occur? Where does fertilization occur? And how does it occur? What is fertilization? Fertilization is the process of the fusion of male pronucleus, that is the sperm, okay, plus female pronucleus, that is the ovum, to form a zygote. Okay, this is fertilization. When does fertilization occurs? Fertilization occurs usually 12 to 24 hours of ovulation or within 12 to 24 hours of ovulation, fertilization occurs. Okay, where does fertilization occurs? Fertilization occurs in the ampulla of the fallopian tube. Okay, the fourth question, how does it occur? Okay, fertilization the prerequisite is the sperm should reach the ova okay so we have uh, we'll take it that the sperm has reached the ova it occurs in many stages the first stage is attachment okay where the sperm attaches to the zona pellucida okay this is zona pellucida okay this is a tough uh, membrane like covering which covers the ovum okay the second stage which occurs is binding okay the third phase is acrosomal reaction okay in which the sperm which is equipped with an acrosome okay which has many enzymes which are released the enzymes include acrosin acid phosphatase okay hyaluronidase Okay, these enzymes, what they do is they'll degrade the zona pellucida or they'll smoothen or they'll soften the zona pellucida so that the sperm can enter. And that's the fourth process, which is known as penetration. Okay, penetration. The fifth process or the fifth step in fertilization is nothing but cortical reaction. Okay. The sperm penetrates, it will reach the cortex. This is the cortex. Okay. After it reaches the cortex, these are something which are known as cortical granules. Okay. Cortical granules, which are present in the cortex, which are released. Okay. These release secretin and many enzymes. Okay. Which are responsible for the next step that is known as the zona reaction. Okay. In this zona reaction, what happens is the zona pellucida, except for the site of penetration, becomes hard and impenetrable, okay, impervious, so that it will prevent another sperm from attachment or from penetration, okay. So, zona reaction is a process which will prevent polyspermy, okay. So, now let us look at the sequences of all the reaction what occurred. As I told you earlier, the first stage or the first reaction that occurs is acrosomal reaction. In acrosomal reaction, what happens? Uh, the acrosome of the sperm releases many enzymes such as acrosin, acid phosphatase and hyaluridase, okay, which will degrade or soften the zona pellucida so that the sperm can penetrate inside. The second uh, reaction is the cortical reaction. In cortical reaction, what happens? The sperm reaches the cortex. After it reaches the cortex, the cortical granules are released. Cortical granules has enzymes in secretin, okay, which is responsible for the third reaction, which is known as the zona reaction, okay. In zona reaction, what happens? Except for the site of penetration, uh, all the other side become impervious, okay, or impenetrable for the other sperms so that it will prevent polyspermy, okay. So this is all you have to know about fertilization. Okay. So the next topic we are going to be learning is implantation. Let us ask the golden questions again. What is implantation? Implantation is the attachment of the zygote okay, to the endometrium or the uterus. When does implantation occurs? Implantation occurs almost six to seven days after fertilization. Okay, where does implantation occurs? Implantation usually occurs in the superior and posterior aspect of the uterus. Okay, while we are at it, 
uh, let us know the two types of implantation that occurs. The first type is superficial. The second type is deep or interstitial. This is the type that occurs in humans. Okay. The thickness at the time of endometrium is around eight millimeter. Okay. So how does implantation occurs? It also occurs in three phases. The first step or the phase is apposition. Okay. It occurs with the help of selectants. Okay. The second phase is addition. It occurs with the help of integrants. The third phase is of invasion, which occurs with the help of matrix metalloproteinases. Okay. So now let us go through how it occurs. Okay. So after the female pronucleus, that is the ova and the male pronucleus combine, okay, forms a zygote. Okay. It is formed around the time of fertilization, that is 12 to 24 hours of ovulation. Okay. This divides to form a two cell stage. Okay. This occurs around uh, 24 hours of fertilization okay just know the difference okay the zygote is formed 12 to 24 hours of after ovulation okay the two cell stage is 24 hours after fertilization then it divides to form the four cell stage okay and it divides to form eight cell stage okay until the eight cell stage all of them are loosely arranged all the cells are loosely arranged okay and uh, it undergoes a process of compaction where all the cells are brought together. Okay. After the eight cell stage, there is the 16 cell stage, which is a named stage known as morula. Okay. This stage usually occurs around the third day after fertilization. Then this divides again to form a 32 cell stage, which is known as the advanced morula. Okay. This occurs usually the fourth day, okay, after fertilization, okay, and this advanced morula undergoes cavitation and there's a fluid field inside it. So this is known as the blastocyst, okay, until the blastocyst stage, the zona pellucida is present, okay, after this, the zona pellucida disappears, okay, on around the fifth day, okay. And this process is known as blastocyst hatching. Okay. So let us know the function of zona pellucida in this implantation process. We already know that the, one of the function of zona pellucida is uh, preventing polyspermy. The second function of uh, zona pellucida or the function which it serves in implantation is it prevents the implantation. So the zona pellucida has disappeared on the fifth day. The blastocyst enters the uterine cavity on the fifth day. Okay. And it gets implanted on the posterior and the superior part of the uterus on sixth to seventh day of fertilization. Okay. Till now we have talked about a lot of days. Okay. So 14th is the day in which the ovulation occurs. And if the sperm is present on the same day, there is fertilization. Okay. So we all know that the blastocyst enters the uterine cavity five days after fertilization. So from 14th, it enters on the 19th day. So on 19th day, the blastocyst enters the uterine cavity. So now let us look at the structure or the cells that has been formed now. Usually uh, there is a 58 cell stage in which 53 cells contribute are contributed by the trophoblast which is the outer cell mass. This is trophoblast. Okay. And the rest five cells are constituted by the inner cell mass. That is this. Okay. This is the zona pellucida. Okay. Uh, now let us look at the function of trophoblast and inner cell mass. Trophoblast is useful in the formation of placenta or it gives rise to the placenta. Inner cell mass is responsible for the formation of embryo proper. So that's all for this video. We will meet in the next video. Thank you. Hey guys, just a small reminder. 98% of the viewers have not subscribed to the channel. So please do subscribe, hit the bell icon to receive notification at the earliest.